as I see it now. You are the soil and the water. You give life to the seed of power. The guide has come. The one that shall lead the blood. <laughs> I'm here. How could you be so damn reckless? Charging out into the red rain like that was lunacy. You can't do that. If something had happened, those you left behind... They couldn't understand. I like that you're gung-ho. It's the reason I'm here. But don't think that you can do everything alone. Look, I... I'm sorry for the lecture. See ya. Our next step is to focus on perfecting our attack patterns and increasing our ranged efficiency. Speaking of, Vice Captain, have you been making use of the bullet editor? Uh, well, I certainly understand that. The intensity of the subject tends to put off many god eaters. I know some say it is above their pay grade, which I'm almost certain is a joke. 
At the same time, it is too exciting to ignore. We can change bullet trajectory, elemental effects. It gives us much greater options when attacking at range. Imagine all the possibilities. Increasing effective range, enhancing destructive power, altering effects to make better healing bullets. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little excited. I really do. Um, one more thing, if I may. Only if you have time, of course. But, um, I'm still growing used to this. I'd like you to accompany me during my next experiment. I made a bullet you might like. Wonderful. Thank you so much. This'll be great. I'd like to perform the test as soon as possible for optimal effect. Are you ready to go now? Brilliant. Let's head out then. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. I can help with that. It's nothing. It's probably just all in my head. The God Ark. It's not that I feel ill, it's... I can't quite describe it. Some of the bullets were behaving rather unusually, but in a good way, I suppose. My weapon was performing differently as well. I'll need to adjust the recoil compensator. I, I wasn't trying to show off. I've been using firearms for so long that it's second nature. All right. I shouldn't trouble them. I can look into the problem myself. Thank you for coming out to help today. I really appreciate it.
That was a perfect mission. You guys did so great. Don't forget to pick up materials. We are so cool. Collection duty is not exactly in my job description. <laughs> Every mission should go this well. Get them motherfuckers! been this way ever since we entered the Far East. At least we should arrive at the branch soon. That's the stuff that came down before, right? While we were rescuing S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> I mean, is the Red Rain really as bad as all that? Mm -hmm. It gives people a disease called, um, it's called, what's it called? The Black Plague. It shares its name with an ancient epidemic, earned by the black scars that form. Any contact with the Red Rain could cause it. It's a truly terrible disease. There is no known treatment. Even the symptoms cannot be suppressed. Anyone who contracts it is condemned to die. Uh, so I just have to stay dry, right? Getting sick is the worst. You lose all your appetite. Friar has cleared the Red Rain and is continuing south through Far East territory. Repeat, Friar has cleared the Red Rain and is continuing south through Far East territory. We're almost there. Rachel, I hope you'll tell me the truth now. Why did you insist on moving the tests all the way out here? It is as I told Director Grimm. I wish to see our God Ark soldiers and my blood unit fight together. Hmm. Very well, Rachel. Listen. You know that the God Ark soldiers will open a whole new era for humanity. They can save us from those monsters. Of course I do, sweet sister. Worry not. I merely aim to ensure that they will serve us very well. Ah, look! The Far East branch is in view. We've almost arrived. I am Julius Visconti, Captain of the Blood Special Forces. This is my team. Welcome to the Far East Branch. 
I am the director here, Taylor Sakaki. When I heard that Emil rescued you from certain doom, I just had to meet you face to face. Wait, you mean from the Marduk? Our vice captain was the one who fought it off. Ah, so it was you after all. I thought as much. You have my thanks. You're obviously a talented group, and I don't want to waste even a moment of that talent. Let's get you on a mission. The Far East Branch is currently facing several major threats. The most obvious, of course, is the Black Plague caused by exposure to the Red Rains. Another pressing issue is... The Scion. Precisely. A species of origami unlike any we've faced before. Rumor is you've already fought one. The Scions use powerful resonance waves, bias fields, to control nearby herds of origami. I'm told Scions also interfere with our god arms, as they too are infused with oracle cells. Still, against all odds, your unit disrupted its psionic wave and sent it running. Truly a thing of wonder. I cannot tell you how reassuring it is to hear the beast can be beaten. So, I beseech your help mitigating these issues. The Red Rain Pandemic and the Scion. What say you? We're glad to help, and we'll do our utmost to see these problems put to rest. Excellent! We'll support you in any way we can. Please make yourself at home here in the branch. That is all for now. Thank you. Dismissed. Director, I asked everyone about their schedule so we could get a proper welcoming party going and... Huh? Is this the blood unit? Thank you, Kota. And yes, this is blood. Great to meet you. I'm Kota Fujiki, captain of the Far East Branch's first unit. Julius Visconti, captain of blood. The pleasure is mine, Captain Fujiki. Awesome. I'm still organizing the welcome bash, so feel free to take a look around till we're good to go. A party? For us? Yes! What kind of fruit are you gonna have, huh? Huh? Will it be delicious? Oh, I bet it will! You can't just blurt that out, Nana. It's rude. You'll have to wait and see. Trust me, the food's amazing here at the Far East. Oh, yes! This is gonna rock! Oh, yeah! Ah, the intrepid warrior. How do you fare? Oh, are you the Blood Unit's vice captain? I'm Arena, Arena der Vogelweid. We're God Eaters with the Branch's first unit, and... How do you find the Far East? Friar is refined, to be sure, but this place has its own charms. The smell of earth and oil isn't unpleasant. It just shows how hard the people work. When I drink my evening tea, all the scents mingle together. And I feel the heartbeat of this place. I protect them, and in turn, they protect me. Ah, truly wonderful. Don't you think that's enough, Emil? What? Shouldn't we build a camaraderie with our honored guests? I was in the middle of a sentence. Oh, yes. This little one is Irina. She is the little sister of my sworn sword, Eric der Vogelweid. May his soul rest in peace. Therefore, you may think of her as my little sister as well. Hm, I rather like that. I am not your little sister. There you guys are. Emil, Irina, we've got a mission. Ooh, they're at it again, aren't they? Sorry about that. This is Arena and Emil of the first unit. Though I bet you already met Emil. He's probably made sure of it. They're pretty talented, I promise. Even though they're, you know, like this most of the time. Should there be something you wish to see improved, Captain? I appreciate your guidance. Hey! I'm nothing like that jerk! Well, okay, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it'd be great if you took him out on a mission sometime. Of course! Esteemed rivals, let our competition lead both of us to new heights of skill and chivalry. Ugh. Oh man, the girls at the Far East Ranch are so hot, this is gonna be awesome! Although... I guess the place does seem a bit run down. Man, I know this is the front lines, but I wasn't expecting this. Maybe I'll just spend my nights on Friar. The Friar's way too hoity-toity. This is more normal. Are you guys serious right now? Normal? Not a chance.
If this is normal, what about all the people outside these walls? Huh? All the people we ignore? Just barely scratching out a life? Uh, who are you? Satsuki Takamine, freelance journalist at your service. Hmm. You all look like you've come straight from headquarters, don't you? Yeah. Sorry to break it to you, sister. But historically, I don't do well with journalists. Romeo, this one's all yours. Hey, wait! Where are you going? My apologies for his behavior? Wow, you're really polite. W w what? Uh, hi. I thought you went on ahead, Satsuki. Oh, pardon me. Didn't I see you all when I visited Friar? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Hi, I can't believe it's you. Really, truly, actually, you. I'm Romeo. You are Yuno Ashihara. I'm not worthy. Whoa, hey, slow it down. If you want to shake her hand, you gotta go through her manager. Me. You know, do you know these people? Not really. I saw them briefly on Friar. I just noticed they were about my age. It's a pleasure to meet you. I am Yuno Ashihara. <laughs> I know! Your songs are so awesome. You're so cool. I can't believe it's you. I'm not worthy. All right, Tiger. That's quite enough of that. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've had people my own age to talk with. I guess lately it has been one stuffy bureaucrat after another begging for autographs. Well, hey, I shouldn't keep Captain Koda waiting forever. So, how about I come back and get you later, you know? <laughs> Look, you seem like the same one of the group. It would be great if you could, you know, hang out with her. She really needs some friends. And keep an eye on that Romeo boy for me. I don't usually let the crazy ones get this close. <laughs>